water testing as a science club after school project. And we had four locations. The headwaters of the Clinton River are up in the park up Sashaba. And so we tested there. And then we tested at the um, Sportsman's Club on off Dixie Highway. And then we made the Sportsman's Club the ent is the entrance. It's right up there. And the exit is around by Walton. We tested down there. So we, beginning, we were trying, it was when the Clinton River had all kinds of problems with pollution. But what was interesting is when we met the kids from Mount Clemens, we're at 900 feet above sea level and they're at 400, so the river flows down to Mount Clemens. And they had a lot of pollution. But over the years, it's cleared up. That's the good news. we're ready to do right now is we're going to take a canoe and go across the uh, river and we're going to measure the uh, width of the river compared to last year and the depth of the river. testing the water and uh, the physical attributes like the water temperature, the air temperature, and wildlife that we find and see. We've noticed that there's fish and geese and ducks all around and um, there's a lot of trees and uh, what's it called? Macrophytes and paraphyton. And the water temperature, we noticed, is not very much colder than the air temperature. So it's pretty much all sand and salt and clay. And there's not really any rocks in it. <laughs> He's going to try and get it under control. I don't know. Oh, that was a nice throw. The, uh, we're waiting for it to flow this way to that stick right there. Did he get it out far enough? Yeah. Oh, it's not Okay, we are kicking up the substrates, the dirt on the bottom, to get the macroinvertebrates into the net and see what we can find. That's a good shot. Um, we are now washing off the dirt off the net to see if there are any extra little macroinvertebrates, and then we're going to go through the tray and see we are looking for macro invertebrates right now. We are using a, a dichotomous key to narrow down what we're looking at through the microscopes. <clears throat> Things you want to pay close attention to are how many tails does it have? Um, are the legs hooked? What's the head shape like? Are there wings? No wings. Is that what they're doing? That's what they're doing. Hooked? Like. With a hook. Uh, 
uh, one of the tests that we're doing is turbidity, and all that is is we're just uh, filling up a vial and uh, analyzing it, and that uh, that is checking the water clarity or the fuzziness of the water. Princess! Oh, princess! Right now we're performing chemical tests in the water. We're determining things like the pH, um, oxygen levels, phosphate levels, temperature changes, and like which will overall determine the quality of the water.